Hello Year 5, it's Mrs Bastable and in today's lesson we're going to have a look at solving multi-step problems involving division. To warm up and make sure our brains are working, let's look again at dividing by 100. Here there are some calculations with answers, however not all of them are correct. Tick the ones that you think are correct, and can you correct the ones that are wrong? Remember to check your work carefully. Good luck! And here are your answers. Remember to use a coloured pen or pencil to mark or correct your work. 212 divided by 100 is 2.12. 500 divided by 100 is 5. 34.91 divided by 100 is incorrect. The answer should be 0 0.3491. 50.3 divided by 100 is incorrect. The answer should be 0 0.503. 520 divided by 100 is 5.2. 9.09 divided by 100 is incorrect. The answer should be 0 0.0909. And 71,000 divided by 100 is incorrect. The answer should be 710. How did you do? Let's take a look now at how to solve multi-step problems using division, where sometimes you may need to interpret remainders. We're going to look at quite a tricky problem together, step by step, and then you're going to have a go at solving some of your own. Take a look at this question. On Thursday, Esther collected 37 eggs and she collected three times as many on Friday. If the eggs are put in boxes that hold six eggs each, how many boxes will Esther need? What question are we being asked here? The very first thing you needed to do here is to work out how many eggs were collected on Friday because it doesn't give us an amount, it gives us a calculation to do. 37 eggs on Thursday and three times as many on Friday. So our first step should be 37 times three, which works out at 111. Did any of you work out that was your first step? The next step you needed to do is an addition. Now we know how many eggs they collected on Thursday and how many eggs were collected on Friday. If we add them together, we can work out the total number of eggs collected. So 111, Add 37 gives us 148. Did any of you work out what the next step should be? Well done. Hopefully you worked out that the next step should now be to share the total number of eggs into sixes to see how many boxes extra will need. So 148 divided by 6 gives us 24 remainder 4. But we're not finished yet. To answer this question, we'd need to round up. 
If the eggs are put into boxes that hold six each, how many boxes will Esther need? We're not going to throw the four remainders away, so they would still need to go into a box. So we would round the answer up. So we would have 24 full boxes and an extra box for the leftover four eggs. So our answer would be 25 boxes. A way to help you with multi-step problems is to use RICA. Read, interpret what it's asking you to do. Calculate each step carefully and then answer the question, making sure you've answered what it was actually asking you to do. Now it's your turn. For each of the following questions, you will need to do different calculations before you reach your final answer. Work out which calculations you do need to do and in what order first, and then check your answers carefully at the end. Question one. There are 17 boys and 14 girls in a class. The children sit at tables of four. How many tables are needed? Question two. A pencil factory makes 463 pencils in one hour, but 32 of them are found to be faulty. The pencils are sold in packs of 12. How many packs will be filled by the non-faulty pencils? Question three. A teacher has two boxes of pencils. One has 173 pencils and the other 149 pencils. He puts the pencils together and shares them equally into seven pots. How many pencils will there be in each pot? A grocer has 189 baking potatoes. The grocer puts 75 baking potatoes out individually and bags the rest of potatoes into bags of six. How many packs of six does the grocer make? Question five. A toy warehouse has 156 packs of three cars. The cars are to be reboxed in packs of five. How many packs of five can be made from these cars? Question six. A sports trust organizes a football competition 23 teams of 11 players enter and 176 individual players who want to be made into new teams. If all the individual players are made into new teams of 11 players, how many teams will play in the competition? So for question one, we are told we have 17 boys and 14 girls. So the first thing we need to do is work out how many children are in the class altogether. That means we're going to add together the boys and the girls. So seven add four gives us 11. 10 add 10 makes 20. Add the one we carried gives us 30. So now we know there are 31 children in the class. So 31 divided by 4. 
4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32 gives us 8 tables. But we need to round up because if we had 28 tables, there'd be a remainder of three children. Where would they sit? So obviously this is an example of where you need to round up. There'll be one table that isn't full, but it is needed. How did you do with this question? Let's take a look now at question two. We have 463 pencils made in one hour, but 32 of them are faulty. We're not going to count the faulty pencils, are we? Because it says how many packs will be filled with the non-faulty pencils. So that means we need to do a subtraction. We need to take away the faulty pencils to see how many pencils we can share. 3 take away 2 is 1, 6 take away 3 is 3 and 4, we now have 431 pencils. They are sold in packs of 12. 431 divided by 12. Right, to help you with this, you may have wanted to jot down your 12 times table. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. Let's stop at 5 times 12 and see if we need any more. So 12 doesn't go into 4, but how many 12s are in 43? Well, we haven't got 48, so we'll have to stop here at 36, which is 1, 2, 3, lots of 12. 3 12s are 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. There are seven left over. We stop at 60, but we know if we add 12 to 60, it would be 72, which we can't do. So there must be five with a remainder. What's our remainder? A remainder of 11. So how many full packs do they have to sell? Well done. They have 35 packs ready to sell. Nobody would buy a pack that is short, would they? So maybe they'll save those until the next session. How did you do with this one? So question three, we have two boxes of pencils. One contains 173 pencils and the other 149 pencils. So our first step is to see how many pencils we have all together by adding. Three add nine gives us 12. Seven add four gives us 11. Add the one we carried gives us 12. One add two gives us three. So we have 322 pencils all together. Now we know how many, we know that the teacher shares them into pots of seven. So now we can do our division. 322 divided by seven. How many sevens are in three? We can't do. How many sevens are in 32? Well, four sevens are 28, with a remainder of four. 
How many sevens are in 42? Well done, six sevens are in 42. So that means there are 46 pencils in each pot. Did you get this one right? Excellent work. Question four. So we start with 189 baking potatoes. However, 75 of them are put out individually. So we can subtract that 75. 189 subtract 75. Nine take away five leaves us with four. Eight take away seven leaves you with one. And we keep our hundred. So now we have 114 potatoes. And he's going to share those into packs of six. So how many packs of six does the grocer make? So how many six go into 11? We've got one with a remainder, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. How many sixes are in 54? Excellent, there are nine sixes in 54, which means there are 19 packs of six potatoes. Excellent work. Did you get this one right? Question five, we are first told that we have 156 packs of three cars. So we need 156 times three. Six times three gives us 18. Five times three gives us 15. Add the one we carried is 16. 1 times 3 is 3, add the one you carried. We have 468 cars that are now ready to be reboxed into packs of 5. So now we can do our division. How many 5s are in 4? We can't do. How many 5s are in 46? 9 5s are 45 with one remainder. How many fives are in 18? Well, three fives are 15. So we have a remainder of three. So how many full packs of five can be made? 93 packs of five cars. Excellent work. Hopefully you got this one right too. Don't forget to mark your work in a coloured pen and pencil though and make any corrections if you need to. Question six is a little bit different. As for this one, you needed to start with your division and then do another calculation. We are told there are already 23 teams of 11 players. So we're going to keep that here for a moment and look at our 176 individual players who need to be put into teams of 11. So 176 divided by 11. 11 doesn't go into one, so we'll carry. How many 11s in 17? Well, there's one 11. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 6 remainder. How many 11s are in 66? Excellent, 6 11s are in 66. So now we know how many there are, we can work out how many teams there will be all together by adding our new 16 teams to our existing 23 teams. Three add six is nine. Two add one gives us three. So all together we have 39 teams. Excellent work. How did you do with this one?
Wonderful work today, Year 5, solving multi-step problems involving division. I'm really proud of all your hard work so far. See you soon. Goodbye.